Okay, in this lesson plan, we're going to learn how to find the x and y intercepts of the straight line. And uh, I already went through and created this equation. And if you need to find out how I found the equation with these two points, you can look at my other uh, video on how to find uh, the equation of a line with uh, having two points. So I have an equation y equals, let's say, negative x plus 5 here. So the thing you want to learn is uh, to find the x-intercept, you just set y equal to 0 here. Okay? You think about it. Why do you do that? Well, when y equals to 0, you're on the, you're on the x equals you're on the x-axis, right? When y is equal to 0, look at this. You're on the x-axis, aren't you? That's why you let y equal to 0. You let y equal to 0, you're on the x-axis. That's how, so that's how you find the x-intercept. Remember, remember the definition of x-intercept is that is the graph equation where it crosses the x-axis. So when you let y be 0, you're going to cross here. So let's do that. Let's let y be 0 equals negative x plus 5. And then you solve for x. You subtract on 5 on both sides, right? And you get negative 5 equals to negative x. And then you divide by negative 1. OK? And you get x equals 5. So the point where it crosses the uh, y, y uh, axis, uh, what the, the y-intercept will be uh, 0, 5, right? Oops. I mean, 5, 0. My bad. My mistake. I'll label x ins as the same thing x intercept and y ins as y intercept. I'm just running a short form. Okay? So x intercept will cross at 5, 0. So, so right here is where it'll cross, 5, 0. That's the x intercept if they ask you. Because you solve x is equal to 5, so x is 5, but you know if you have to cross the x intercept, you're going to get a 0, right? So vice versa, how do you find a y intercept? Well, if you're in a y axis, it's the same thing. You have, this, you have to let it x equal to 0. See, when x is equal to 0, you're in a y-axis, right? So that's why you let it equal to 0. So let's do that equation. So instead now, you're going to have y equals to negative 0 plus 5. And then negative 0 is just 0. So y equals to 5. And you'll get the point 0, 5. And that will be the... Oops. Y intercept. Okay? And uh, that's how you find it. So, you, you, just a little review. If you need to find X intercept, you let Y go to zero. When you want to find the Y intercept, you let X be zero. And uh, that's pretty, that's all it is. It's, it's not very difficult. Thank you.